cash prizes in every box. Candlepin Skins is sponsored in part by the Car Phone Store of Nashua. Candlepin Skins is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to the Londonderry Bowling Center here in Londonderry, New Hampshire, and another edition of Candlepin Skins. Glad to have you with us. Doug Brown along with Dan Murphy. Last week, uh, the story was Ron Malo from Nashua, New Hampshire. First time on television. He threw a strike in his first ball, and that was a, an indicator of things to come. Yeah, and, and well, he started with a series of marks, and that just uh, kind of loosened them right up. And he had 167 in the opening game and just uh, rode that one uh, right to the finals, and he's back here again. And so is Chris Sargent, who finished second a week ago, and they will be joined by Tim Lipke and Gary Carrington. I have a feeling that that microphone down near the bowlers will probably get a bit of a workout today. It'll probably be smoking by the time this show is <laughs> over with. <laughs> two games, of course, here on Cattle Pin Skins. Two competitions in one as well. Total pinfall and, of course, the skins competition for the cash prizes. We'll be back and get it started right here from the Londonary Bowling Center after this timeout. Don't go away. Chris Sargent and Tim Lipke on the line. Chris Sargent to throw first. Ouch. And Tim is off to the right. Not a great leave on either lane. Pretty good effort. Oh, and Tim is right through the same spot. Chris will take an eight. And Tim bails out nicely with a nine. And we're off and running. Gary Carrington now up in lane 30. And through the center. But gets oh. a break. Kicked out the four in the seven. And Ron Malo may have a shot at something, too. The skin is wide open here. Gary for the spare. He's got it. Ron trying to have it. And he cannot. So the first skin will go to Gary Carrington. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. I got my skin for it. Eight bucks for Ron Malo. So Gary takes that ten dollar skin. Move to box number two. Also worth ten dollars. And Tim is off target to the right again. Chris Sargent is through the middle again. Boy, another great effort by Chris Sargent. Leaves the 7 and 10, though. The nine boxes. And once again, the stage open for Gary Carrington and Ron Malo. I'm not. I don't want to anymore. Now they'll shoot at the diamond leaf. Two, four, five, and eight. Gary filling on a spare with six. Almost from behind for Ron. Oh, great spare and another skin for Gary Carrington. Fine shot. Ten bucks for Ron Malo. Worth another look on that spare. One, two, nine, and ten clean with no wood. Fine shot. So Gary is out of the blocks fast. And hold on. 
Tim Lipke almost throws the strike. Spare for Tim. Ten for Chris. No. Gary now working on his second mark in a row. And he drops it with a strike. And that'll be good for another skin. Talking to me. Get on $10 more for Gary Harrington. Ron trying to put his first mark up there, and he does. Another look at Gary Carrington's strike. Brooklyn hit. Tapping the six pin. Tim drops eight on his spare. Oof, quick nine drop for Chris Sargent. Watch out, that wood rolls back and the second piece gets out of the way. He could have a strike. No. Not online, I don't think. Quite. No. Enough speed. Oh, good spare. You thought he might have hit it a little full. But he carries the 210. Chris gets his first mark, just barely. <laughs> There's Tim Lipke spare. Cap the piece of wood. The ball actually uh, takes the 10 pin out of there. Three or four, it's not thinking about it. Gary, Duff, uh, Gary Duffett. He has a oh. name from the past. <laughs> Can uh, Gary Carrington throw a double strike and steal the skin? He'll be like, I got you again. Looks pretty good. Almost. Drop on Ron Spear. And oh, makes yeah. it two in a row. <laughs> Gary is finally open. Yeah. And a carryover, our first of the day. Box number five will be worth $30. Oh, oh, needs a little help on the five pin. There it is. Chris cleaned out the four horsemen, but fortunately, he also had the 10 men up there. Not quite. Chris takes the 10. And so does Tim Lipke. Started with three marks in a row. Two spares and a strike. Took the first three skins. Got himself out to a quick lead. And oh, another strike. Ooh. Wow. And that will win him another skin here in the fifth. This one worth A six box for Ron Malo, so he will sit at 55 through five. Gary Carrington has taken all the skins money. That's why he's smiling. <laughs> After five here in game one on Candlepin Skins. We'll be right back. We are Gary Carrington in the lead, but a pretty close battle uh, after that. After five boxes, oh. 
Tim Lipke first. And now Chris Sargent. Ouch. Oh. 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 Wow. That sounded like a strike as soon as he let it go. Chris finally says, that's enough, Gary. I want one of these. The skin in the sixth worth $15. Tim will take a nine. So a strike leads for this skin here in the sixth. Gary working on a strike. Pull that one though a little to the left. So give that skin to Chris Sargent. $15. Gary fills his strike with seven. Ron will take an eight. Ten for Gary, and he's still in the lead. So somebody finally, other than Gary, got their name up on that right-hand column. <laughs> Chris Sargent working on a strike. Shooting at the one, three, nine, and seven, and eight. Tim Lupke is bid for a strike. He only has three, eight, and ten. It's the junior high low jack. Right. <laughs> Got some help in front of the three and as well as another piece behind. Oh. Nope. Ten for Chris Sargent. And a 10 for Tim Lipke. So they stay one pin apart. Gary Carrington, the overall leader right now. Oh, he's in the pocket again. Face to 5 10. He does have some wood. You may have to pinch that wood against the 10 pin. Or have the red line have the ball bounce over there. I don't know if he's got the angle. Yes, yes. he does. Nicely done. That'll give Gary the skin in the seventh. $25 more for him. Ten bucks for Ron Malo. I think Gary likes this game. <laughs> out there. Nine drop for Chris Sargent. Again. He's able to kick out the three pin. Leaves himself a seven with a piece of wood in front. Tim Lipke trying to split the three and a six and just by the three pin. Spare for Chris Sargent. And a nice reverse ten box there for Tim Lipke. Four pin actually comes forward for the for the three pin. There it huh. comes. A little English on it. Oh, Ron Malo drops nine quickly. Gary Carrington working on a spare in the seventh. And he'll take five on it. There's the spare creating the carryover for Ron Malo. As he halves Chris Sargent in this eighth box. That'll make the ninth box worth $50. Gary takes nine. Still in the lead, but slowly. A couple of the other guys beginning to creep up on him. Chris Sargent on a spare. Six. Oh. 
Tim Lipke drops nine. Boy, even when Chris hits only one pin, it sounds hard. <laughs> I don't think anybody was expecting that, least of all Tim. That was for a spare. Chris Sargent takes nine. And Tim takes ten. I thought that piece of wood was frozen or certainly close enough. Just a little bit too far to the right and just turn, turn right around the six pin. Gary Carrington, 116 through eight. He's up for his ninth frame. Ron working on a spare, and he'll have a spare leave. No marks up there in box number nine. This skin worth $50. A 10 leads for it right now. And Gary not quite enough on the forward kick. And there will be no marks, so one of these guys needs to make a single here to create the carryover. Gary makes it, and there it is. Ron takes nine. So the carry over into the tenth, which is now worth a nice round $100. Tim starts it off with a solid eight pin drop. Whoa, about the nine pin drop for Chris. Specializes in those, he had a number of them last week. And a few today already. Ooh. Ooh, he's gonna oh, he missed it. Thought we had an early chance at a possible carry over there, but now Tim Lippy leads with the spare. Chris leaves it there again. He struggled with single pins a bit a week ago. Tim now with a chance to pass Chris if he gets uh, any kind of a fit here. That'll be enough. Takes a couple extras. And it'll be a 118 for Tim Lipke. Gary Carrington is going to be in the overall lead after one game. Just a question of how much. Idiot. Tim Limit leads for the skin, too, with that spare in the tenth. Take a strike to win it outright or a spare to carry it over. Oh, Gary's off target. We may have to see a good shot here to have the skin. Ron makes it. There's the carryover. That takes $100 away from Tim Lipke. Ooh, Gary almost made his, too. He'll take 10 for a 136, and he'll be in the overall lead. Ron Malo spare to have the skin. Nice shot. And he fills it with eight for a 117. So after Gary Carrington's 136, it's very, very tight among Chris Sargent, Tim Lipke, and Ron Malo. Hey, we're going to start game two with a $110 skin in the first box. When we come back, don't go away. <laughs> Gary Carrington doing most of the damage on the skins tote board in that first game, and he is the pinfall leader as well with that 136. Chris Sargent also on the board. Ron and Tim waiting for their shot to uh, get to the bank here. Chris Sargent to lead off game two. Well, ugly, that wood is no good. Ugly piece of wood. I mean, it front. is playable. It is legal, but it's not in a good spot. <laughs> no telling what this will do. Won't do anything unless you hit it, I think. Eight box for Chris. Yeah, nice wood. Yeah, nice wood. Yeah, at least hit it. Candlepin Skins brought to you in part by the Carphone Store of Nashua. Sure and stop in and 
Tell them you heard about them here on Candlepin Skins, the car phone store of Nashua. Well, Tim Lipke has another one of these. <laughs> the last time he had one of these, the wood betrayed him. Not this time. Not taking any chances. <laughs> Tim said something I didn't quite hear. He says, I'm not going to miss another one. <laughs> now with a piece of wood in front. You don't like to miss those. Oh, good ball. Gary Carrington getting a pretty good mix and a nine drop of his own. Almost took the skin away from it. Tim. This is a $110 skin to open the second game. And Gary's got his spare. So it'll take a strike for Ron Malo. Or else we'll have a carryover. He saved me. No strikes for Ron this week. Last week he had a few. Including a double. Oh, oh look out! Oh. Wow. Three nine drops in a row in this first box. But it's another carryover. Three nine drops, all three converted to spares. Get on it, guys. Rise at the bottom of the screen. Watch that total pinfall. You can see no one is out of it yet. Gary Carrington is leading. The other three are very close, but they're not far behind Gary. Box number two now worth $120, and Chris Sargent will have the one, seven, and eight. And again, he has a piece of wood just leaning up off the plate. This time, it might help him. like he hit it in a pretty good spot. Yeah, just sliding by the eight. He's open the first two frames. He just gets the seven pin and, Ooh. oh boy, a couple pieces just missing the eight. Tim Lipke on a spare. Another big first ball. Carries eight. 5-9 for another spare. Yes, Ooh, just, just got it. <laughs> just tickles that five pin. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Gary Carrington now working on his spare. Guess what, guess what he's thinking. <laughs> Do for another strike. Pretty good ball. Oh, oh wow. Didn't throw any better than that. Big nine drop on the spare, though. Maintains his lead over the other three bowlers. And there's the spare. And again, ties Tim Lipke, leaves it all up to Ron. <laughs> for Ron on his spare. So we're going to have another carryover. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ten bucks. The carryover goes to the third now, which is worth $130. Chris's eyes getting a little bigger now as he gets up there <laughs> with these carryovers. And he's in the uh, the toughest position here, too, because he has to bowl first every time, so you just got to get something up there. He hasn't been able to put a mark up yet in this game. Most people be happy with an eight-pin drop. He kind of snapped his fingers like, ah, I wanted a strike. He realized that probably is what's going to take the skin as a strike. Gets the spare up there on the board, at least. This is a six box carryover right now. Ooh, boy, I thought Tim was gonna miss. When he threw that, it looked like he had turned it over a little bit, and I thought he was gonna miss the head pin completely, but. <laughs> 5-9.
five, eight, and ten with no wood. Got a chance. Oh, just sliding by the five. So Chris survives one bowler. What do you think would be worse, putting a putting a mark up there and watching three guys shoot at it, or knowing that you've got to be last and come up with something? Well, what is that mark? A spare or a strike? <laughs> I take my chance of putting a strike up there. But... Bowlers thrive on that being last, knowing what they have to throw. Other bowlers uh, like to put the score up there. Well, Gary pulled that one, just four on his spare. It's going to be a difficult spare to match Chris's. Got a chance, though. Got a chance. Oh, oh yes. Three in a row for Gary Carrington. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to sit next to Gary. <laughs> no, no, he he went next to almost all of the skins in the first game. He keeps taking it away from everybody. Ron Seminole. Uh, Ron Seminole. Yeah, where, I'm, where am I getting these names from? Ron because they, they're all good names. They're just <laughs> they really names are. of people that aren't here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a carryover. I'm going to carry over a few names, too. <laughs> oh, boy. Must have been the early start this morning. <laughs> oh, it's a nine box. You've been saying that all day. I go to the fourth, which is now worth $145. I was going to say, I can't remember people's names. I can't remember the amount. It's 140 now. Chris Sargent working on a spare. I can't remember that either. It's 145. 145. <laughs> did you say 145? Yes, I did. It was a long time ago. It was only like, it was like a whole five seconds. Oh, oh big oh, break big there break. for Chris. One in the three. The six and the eight pins went down simultaneously. Oh, boy. Nope. There it is for the 10. Not what he wanted. He wanted to keep putting the marks up because he's still in a fight for second. And not far out of first. Oh, Gary's got a mark working. He's going to have a little bit of a lead over the other three. Tim Lipke, the assistant manager here at the Londonderry Bowling Center. Tim and his wife, uh, Wendy, have two children, Shauna and Shane. And Tim is looking at the four, eight, and nine. Yes. Oh, nice shot. With the wood, played it perfectly. And he takes the lead for the skin. But now Gary Carrington comes up. <laughs> <laughs> the skin killer. Oh, probably a good break for Gary right there that that uh, three pin stayed up. I don't like the angle of the wood, though. Could have trouble with a ten pin. Let's see. Oh, he's got it. I'll sit with him now. They send Gary into isolation again. And Ron still has a chance to throw a strike and win this big skin. In the pocket, but didn't carry the left side, so we're going to have another carryover. It'll be the eighth box carryover for this skin. <laughs> Gary Carrington has opened this second game with four marks in a row to maintain his overall lead in the match. The battle may be for second if uh, Gary continues to throw the way he's throwing. How about $160 now? This fifth box. Oh, how about it? Yeah! <laughs> he was working for it back at the foul line. Nice call. He had the body English going. Well, it took me 14 for a minute, I think this nine pin was going to go. It looked like it was going to go there. Then it stood back up. Finally. He's got to survive three more bowlers, and any one of them can throw a strike. Like that. A little light. Seven pin on the spare, though. Seven pin drop. Three, five, and nine pins left. Difficult spare without the wood. No. And the 
10 for Tim. Harry Carrington now will take a shot at it. $160 on the line, and it'll go to Chris Sargent unless either Gary or Ron can throw a strike here. And Gary is off to the right. Gary works for AT&T in North Andover as a machine operator. Lives in Plastow, New Hampshire with his wife Kathleen and their two sons, Matthew and Michael. And Gary's got to work now. No, oh, bails out beautifully. Wishes he had thrown that ball one ball sooner. It only counts for a 10, but it's still worth a replay. So it's down to this now for this skin, Ron Malin. Strike will have the skin. No, it goes to Chris Sargent for $160. Oh, and now the other guys want Chris to sit by himself. <laughs> spare not quite negotiate the seven pin that was an eight box carryover worth hundred and sixty dollars Chris Sargent takes it and we will take a break here on Candlepin skins Gary Carrington still in the overall lead by 20 Chris Sargent just won himself a $160 skin to add to his winnings today. And he's working on a strike. There's a double. Double strike for Chris Sargent. Once he found the range, that's going to vault him right up into real contention for that second spot and even a shot at Gary Carrington now, depending on what he does on that double strike. and turns right around and points at him. <laughs> but he just did it one box too late <laughs> for the big skin. So that'll create a carryover. Six box was worth $15. That's Tim's first strike of the day. One, three, seven, ten for Gary. All of a sudden, Gary was cruising right along. Now he's got a couple people right on, right on his heels. And now he will be open here in the sixth with two strikes already up against him. Nine for Gary. Ron Malo has not thrown a strike today. Does have five spares. He's running in fourth right now. He could really use a mark here in the sixth, especially with those two strikes already up there. He'll have a shot at the four and seven. Clear shot at both of those pins. No. So a nine for Ron, and we move to the seventh, which is now worth $40. And as you mentioned, Dan, the total pinfall situation is going to get very interesting here. Gary running first, but the two guys immediately chasing him both have strikes up here in the sixth. And now in the seventh, as you saw, Chris going for the triple. No, and that's costly also, just three. Never mind that he didn't get the strike, but just three on the fill. Oh, great effort. That makes an eight fill for the second strike. And a 10 box, great 10. And I'm sure Chris uh, would like to have that first ball over again. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a big ball. Hit the object pin, the head pin, but drove it right straight through. Now Tim Lipke will try to fill his strike on the same lane, 29. Actually, Chris was on 30. Oh boy, almost a double for Tim. And he will have an opportunity for a spare here, shooting at the seven pin after a piece of wood is cleared away that's out of play. 
Tim already has four marks in this second game, looking to make it five out of seven. And he does. Spare on strike. Now Gary Carrington steps up. I don't mean to bring up bad memories, Dan, but the last time Gary was here with us on the Saturday program was last spring. Oh, there's a strike, and he leads for the skin. And he did a lot of that, too. That's right. <laughs> when Gary was here in the spring, he beat uh, Dan Murphy for the 1995 New Hampshire State Championship. By the way, we will be carrying the men's and women's state championships again this spring here on the Winds of New England, but under a slightly different format, which we'll tell you about a little bit more as the weeks go by, when it gets a little closer. So Gary takes that skin worth $40 in the seventh, and it's still all Gary and Chris Sargent for the skins winnings here. Chris has $175, Gary has $125, neither Tim nor Ron has won a skin yet. Timmy's in second place, only nine pins behind the leader, Gary Carrington, and eight ahead of Chris. Chris is full. It's interesting too, Dan, this is Chris's fifth consecutive week here on Candlepin Skins, and in the previous four, he's finished second all four times. And that's all you need to do to keep coming back, but Chris is gonna have to uh, do some catching up here in the last couple of boxes to catch second today. Especially open here in the eighth. As he will uh, fall double digits behind Tim Lipke, who is filling a mark here. This eighth box worth $25, and Tim almost throws another strike. Difficult spare leaf. Nine pin with a piece of wood out in front. Well, you just got to shoot at the end of the piece of wood at the cap and see if he can turn it a little bit. No. Nope. Wasn't there anyway. So a nine, two nines up there here in the eighth. Well, it looks like Chris Sargent would need two marks to catch Tim. Let's see what Gary does on the strike. He's working on the strike in the seventh. And it's only a pair of nines up there for the skin. And this will be no bargain for a spare either. The one, eight, and nine. was wood, but it was all to the right. So a nine fill on the strike. And the 10. Gary will maintain his lead, still leading uh, Tim Lipke in second, as you see, by 10. Gary's 10 leads for this skin. Mark by Ron Malo would take it away. He has the diamond. Not an easy spare leave. Two, four, five, and eight. Oh, he's oh, got yeah. it. First skin of the day for Ron Malo, worth $25. I'd say the diamond is worth at least $25. Hey, so one shut out. <laughs> so that leaves Tim Lipke as the only bowler without a skin. Chris breaks up the diamond and leaves the two and the four. As I said, he's going to have to get two marks up there and then hope for some help from Tim. Oh, boy. Oh. He hit the two pin or the two pin so hard, the four pin jumped right off the plate, but it came right back down again. That'll be a 10 for Chris. His streak uh, may be over. Every time I get it. $25 skin here in the ninth. Oh, the 
one, eight, and nine out of there. <laughs> Somebody just said in the background, Tim turned around, welcome to London, <laughs> Probably isn't anybody that knows these lanes better than Tim Lipton. That's right. Now you can say it. Yeah, okay. Welcome to London there again. Yeah. <laughs> and Tim will get out of it with an eight box. Just wanted to make sure he didn't have a bad box to uh, open the door too wide for Chris Sargent. Not bad. Ten marks in 18 boxes for Gary. Just a ten box showing there for the skin in the ninth. An easy spare leave for Gary. Got a shot at it though. Oh, oh great boy. Effort. Playing it on the inside. Nearly came up with it. Just to create the possible carryover and Ron May Lewis. Need just some kind of a mark. Let's take it away. Six pin whip right around the ten, or else Gary would have had the spare. Ron working on a spare. Oh boy. Just five. This is not exactly what you'd call a spare leave. No. Even with the wood. I have trouble pushing a reset button making these. <laughs> <laughs> So there'll be a carryover in the ninth, and our last skin of the day will be worth $75. And a seven box for Ron. He had his day last week. Today has been a little different. He will finish fourth, it appears. He called a strike. He's been right one out of 19. But he had a big week last week in his TV debut. You can tell Chris was looking for a strike there. That was his only hope is to probably throw a double strike. Certainly uh, some kind of a mark, but. I was going to say, could you tell that he threw it harder? He throws it hard anyway, <laughs> so it's tough to tell. No mark in the 10th for Chris. That should just about do it for Tim Lipke and Gary Carrington, but still have to decide this last skin. Yeah, in fact, that does do it. As soon as Tim knocks a pin down here to make it official and close out Ron Malo. And he takes eight, leaving the two in the ten. I suppose it would be poetic justice if uh, Tim were to win this last skin since he's the only one that has not gotten on the board here today. Trying to get creative. Tim will take a nine, a 136, and a two game total of 254. 254, almost as averaging 130 for the two games, but doesn't win a skin. Yep. <laughs> and he hasn't had, won. And he had eight marks. Gary has 10. And he'll have a chance at number 11 here. Well, if that five pin fell, you never know what would happen with the other three with a piece of wood in between. Well, he'll have to try it. Diamond, one, two, three, four, five, and eight. Nope, oh, pulled it to the left. Yeah. Never know. Get these two pins for the 10. He does. He does. Well, that leads for this skin right now. And Ron Malo has been struggling, so. But Gary Carrington will finish first today with a 267, so he will return next week. <laughs> By the way, a quick reminder that it's championship week on right, Stars and Strikes tomorrow at noon from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham. It'll be Gary Carrington against oh. the US. Oh, how about that? A $75 skin win right there for Ron Malo in the 10th. <laughs> and what a shot it was after the half-wister. You didn't listen to us. 
Set 10. As I started to say, you'll see Gary again tomorrow in a championship match against Joe Ashline on Stars and Strikes. Seven on the mark, a 115 for Ron Malo. He takes the last skin of the day. It's worth $75. Gary Carrington and Tim Lipke advance, and we'll be back on Candle Pin Skins in a minute. And welcome back to the Londonderry Bowling Center. Doug Brown along with Dan Murphy and uh, interesting match today. Uh, but once again, Gary Carrington off to the quick start like uh, Ron Malo had last week. And that carried him right through. He was able to uh, to finish first overall and kind of let the other guys battle behind him. That's right. And uh, Chris took it easy. And Chris is going to take a week off or a couple weeks <laughs> off and be back. So his reign stops. But uh, poor Timmy Lipke. Bowled great all day long and didn't get a skin. Yeah, it sometimes happens that way. And let's check all the numbers now from... This week's edition of Candlepin Skins, as we mentioned, Gary Carrington bowling very consistently, the 136, and then a 131 for the 267 to finish first in total pinfall. Tim Lipke takes second place without winning a skin. Chris Sargent and Ron Malo uh, will be leaving us and coming back another time, hopefully. So Chris Sargent taking that big $160 carryover skin that carried over for eight boxes to the middle of game two is the overall big winner today, even though he's not coming back. Gary Carrington gets on the board. So did Ron Malo. Tim Lipke uh, does not, but the good news for Tim is that he gets to come back and uh, try and do it all again next week. Now, we want to tell you that uh, next Saturday here on Candlepin Skins, of course, Tim Lipke will be back, so will Gary Carrington, and they will be joined by Joe Ashline and Reggie DeLine. We may need two or three microphones down there for that group. They're going to be fighting over it. I know that. <laughs> Uh, don't forget, tomorrow at noon, from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire, we will have our championship match in our current series on Candlepin Stars and Strikes, and that should be a dandy, too, Joe Ashline against Gary Carrington. So until then, for Dan Murphy and the whole Winds of New England crew, I'm Doug Brown, saying so long from the Londonderry Bowling Center. Thanks for joining us, everybody.